Welcome back, folks, to the first... Wait, 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 bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're so stupid. Welcome back, folks, to one of the first recordings of the, uh, well... The new season. The new season <laughs> of, uh... Game of Thrones. No, wait. Uh, don't put in the beer. Go on, game. <laughs> Channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is one of the games we got on the Steam sale, and we just looked at another game, and it didn't look like... Yes, uh, It deceit. looked like it was paid to... Yes, it, exactly. It looked very pay to play kind of style. You know yeah. those games where you can't get anywhere unless you get money for upgrades and shit like that? Yeah. I mean, when you have a game which has a store page on the main page, that's kind of. Uh, that immediately makes me distrust it. I mean, sometimes they're good, but it, not it, in this. No, it goes this e, did look. E, 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 e. Yeah, anyway, so let's hit. So this looks really interesting. This is bear with me. Um, As I punned earlier. Ticket, yeah. Exodium, get Exodium Games presents. Bear with me. I wonder if it's something similar to um. Oh, what was it called? No. Donut counter. You know, like a story-driven game. Hmm. Oh well. The ship is on fire. Oh shit! That's my job. Um, everybody out! Fire! F Whoa! What the fuck is that? Um. Okay, this took a darker turn. Okay! This took a very darker turn! I like it. Miss, wake up. Wake up. Oh. It yeah, was a good. voice. Oh, what? For a free game? Was it free? Voice acting, yeah. <gasps> it's a point every single it's game. A, every it's a point and click adventure! Yeah. Every single game I got on, this, on the sale was free. This is my bed. Yeah, it's a point and click adventure! This one is mine. Okay, pillow. Can we use the pillow? If I had a label maker, I would label this Amber Stuff. And I would keep my label maker in the game. Well, of course, yeah, nice. see, this has got some. This per, this character got the personality of a doormat. Quick, let's finger the thing. Ooh, a battery. Let's finger it. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm guessing based on that that we can go in here. Based on that arrow that's... Okay, well before we do that, let's uh, go around the room fingering everything. Okay. Nice subversion there. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are the adventures of Houdet. Dunnit like almost gets whacked. There is no I in crime, except for that one. And love in other words, a dictionary review. Cool. Let's finger the glasses, we might need them. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Look at the I chest. Use this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket. It's just this weird thing I have. Cardboard. Just my stuff. I still have it unpacked properly. Paintings, clock, window, plant. Millie! Talk to this lizard. It seems you have a nightmare. And satanic and magic was doing something. Hey, it's the Cappy G reference. So that's Paper Fin City. Oh, no, Terrible. Paper City. Paper Fin City. Oh, gee, what are they gonna do? Let's go find him. Your brother's missing. And we get cliche point A from cli story cliche point C. I woke up from a nightmare. Now let's go find my brother. Wait, what's point? What's cliche B then? Story po plot P cliche C. Sorry, I meant to say. Yeah. Cliche A is I woke up from a nightmare. We don't know yeah. what's going on. Plot C is somebody's missing. Yeah, somebody's missing. Usually brother or sister. Yeah. But what's plot B? Point B. Po point B. No. Point B is there's. 
No, let me see. So if point A is I woke up and Woke up. we don't know where they are. Woke point up, B is the nightmare. fact that there's someone we need to talk to, and plot C is something there's someone now we know someone's missing. Oh, yeah. And plot D is amnesia. What well, plot D is we're not supposed to go to this one place. I'll go ask. Okay, Nellie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You are always such good friends. But the uh Text on the wardrobe door. Private Eye, Ted E. Bear. I have not told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. It's that kind of game. Paper City a week ago. Okay. We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand, while this man has an entire city. Your city, Miss. Powering in fear. Alright. Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head on approach to crime fighting. So he's doing Brooklyn 99 then. 99! The city wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are in a state in the city. We managed to escape. Despite the lockdown. But most of the exits are closed off now. So it reminds me of um, Franbo, well, mm. kinda. Amber Ashworth, I had a nickel from the time this broad got in trouble. Okay then! Hey, it's Detective Pikachu! Okay, I'm liking this so far. Mm. Have you watched Paid Detective you Peter see, yet? No. Okay, what's it for call? As she always does. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually I give in. We've done this so many times I've lost count. She knows the drill, so do I. Old Carrot Hill. Whiskey. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. Something, something malt. Yeah, I'll be whiskey malt. They get lost in the cold on a rain outside, tapping up my window in this hypnotic manner. It's cold in their way. Or is it the booze that makes it cold? <laughs> and here's point E. Your cliche drunken private eye. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew he was a cliche when we started seeing the yeah. black think bubbles. Yeah. yeah. And saw him with the, the fag hanging like this. <laughs> The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Okay. Hi, Ted. I heard you for tired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Excuse me. Doing what? Whatever hey, you just ask. Excuse me. Up this time to prove my life. Your bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie, are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, though. Shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> oh, what? Do we? That one? Yeah, like. What, what, what were you thinking I should do? 
No, that would be slapped. My birthday is coming up. My birthday is coming up soon, and I thought I'd extend an invitation. Your birthday was six months ago. Oh, Christmas. 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 Christm
some guardian superhero dude. It appears to be Iron Man. Doesn't it? What? We got an achievement? Yeah, yeah. product placement. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Crunk. as a support for his heavy head when he passes out. Bye. What about the glasses? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, maybe not. Wait, we have a Swiss Army knife? Where do we get that from? Oh, come on. Well, there are four recent purposes. Okay, we just started this. We cannot be stuck already. What a cool. It makes this place look like a. So everything seems to be connected to that Chinese takeover. <sighs> Moss. What? Those must be Ted's. It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason was <laughs> far away from the car. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, that is <laughs> fucking awesome. The light is off. I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. That's even unlocked. I'm into heavier stuff. Here we see a lamp in its natural habitat. It's leaning forward, ready to leap with remarkable precision. A truly fascinating predator of the wild office. That's what the bones look like back in the days. Um, I mean, now. I bet this clue will be. Um, um, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the light coming from, though? Maybe talk to Thingy again? Yeah. Okay, that was just fucking hilarious, though. So. Not the field hockey mask. Yeah. Oh wait, there it is. Well, on the desk. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's last night's food. Cornflakes. They've gotten cold and mushy and gross. Try searching the desks. Yes. Yep. Yeah. it. Finger the draw. There it is. And now we rub glue on. There we go. Now I just need a lens. Glasses with. Do what with it? Do what? Okay, if we still have enough. It broke my mom's glasses. But I'm trying to this lens now. Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will make I'm gonna. Excuse me. What's this say? Arts and crafts achievement unlocked. I'm 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 gonna say right now he's definitely gonna know. Yeah. Considering he just wants you take his glue. No, nope, not you. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I can't. Rub magnifier on Ted. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything. No, this is my magnifier. 
for the lens reason. Which I'm Just sure, sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with the kids. That's preposterous. Busted! Okay, never mind. This will do. Yes. Let's no. head out. Okay, I'm honestly like, always a bit skeptical, but yeah, this is this Watch is pretty. Back. Watch my back, Ted. This is actually pretty good. Yeah. A box filled with all sorts of really just all unimaginable useful things I need right now to solve this mystery. Packed inside a single cardboard box and left in the middle of the hallway. It's just clothes, though. <laughs> Okay, I'm guessing we'll be uh, finding a hook at some point to... Flint's room, we're yeah. going to there. Quick, finger Flint's room. Flint lock guard! So have you ever heard Claddy a chance to meet boss? No. Oh. Oh, oh. Mr. Mr. T's a plate. Oh. Look at the, the wall corner. Is a shoelace? Yes. Lockwood. Okay. Let's head to the hallway east. Rusty. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked the worst time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boring. Is that a toy robot? What's I think on? so, yeah. Wish I could tell you that. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at Steel Mill one day. The damn place got blown up. You know anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open, like open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Billy told me he might be missing. Hmm? I'm sorry. So I'm just checking his missing. Okay, that's but I'm sure he's okay, fine. That's... He's a tough kid. Besides, no one has left and entered this room since I got it. Do, 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 do. I'm all looking at Papyrus as a wrong hmm. guard member with a sword. Yeah, okay. Moving on. I heard the, the city's in lock. Yeah. Sure is. Been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level. But we all know better. <laughs> How did you get out? How did you escape? I used the Easton to make the shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it all completely after I got through. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, yes. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made the enemies lately, filed a big insurance claim or something. <laughs> no, man. Mr. Deeds is straight up bird. Besides, what you actually be a pigeon or something? Can't get a little hit, but you know, with the way this game's going, it wouldn't but surprise me. Neither, the, the, neither me. That's what the lockdown implies there. Folks I mean, it seems like this is all supposed to be like happening in her imagination. Yeah, well, we never know, but it, it, it's good. It's well, well written so far. Yeah. Yeah. Well written, nicely animated. The fonts fit the tone, etc., <laughs> etc. Et sounding, sounding more like Holt. <laughs> Give him a little chin music before I drop down on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. <laughs> He's saying more than that, but... We've heard rumors about some red man. man. Now what do you think about that? Hey, isn't sure he part of He's Limp Bizkit? The reason all this has happened to him. So this red shows up down at PC. This is what he goes. He goes up to the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beating up low lives here and there, it's a couple trip. No, then the fire started. Here, a couple of guys down from the coal dish had gathered a bus and tried to corner this bird. No one heard from him since. 
Those guys are miners, Bear. They're tough as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys did. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved Miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, we figured I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill advised. <laughs> Anyways, oh, it's Jordan, everyone's laughing going stock. Asking about her. You know anything about this doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with besides mine? Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Russ? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about a little miss here. Is he all right? He's fine, he's just sleepy and grumpy, and, like, totally not uh, drunk. No, no, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two getting along at the <laughs> Okay, bye. Now, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rusty. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's alright. Uh, into the study where there is a hole in the wall. Oh, why are we going to Silent Hill? Something. Something. It's a definite plaque of some sort for an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Box, 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 box. Globe, cigar box. Open, open book. book. Let's in the Ustad Mon S. That's Latin, but I don't know what it's Latin for. Neither do I. It was Lex, not Rex, right? Yep. This hole leads to Wentz room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in deeper. Oh, Wentz room. Oh, Wentz then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. Okay, so I need a... Oh, gee, a sharp... A new... Oh. A statue that I can throw through the hole. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? Take... 107 is the police code for non-conscious or dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. There's a safe in this room. I've always... It looks familiar in a way. I feel like I've been there. Huh. Yeah, how come you're not in it? There is a safe somewhere. Check the cabinet. Finger the cabinet. Hmm. Hey, a flashlight. There's bound to be some in the house. We've got one. Rusty, he'll give us one of his. This won't work. It Can you not finger the other, other books? Oh, it looks just search books. Whoa! That one looks out of place. That one? Yeah, just sit, look at it. Because that one is. They say books. Law in the courts of South Africa. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. And the rest of them say a book. There's something about that one. Yeah, but we can't do anything with it. Except read that it says something about Roman Dutch law in South Africa. What, what? the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. That's... was that... Well, did that say where is it? Mm-hmm. Where is he? Okay, Rusty, give us a... Russ, we need a big favor. What's Isabel there? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, Miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night. 
I have to keep an eye out. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing soft side rust. We could take some of that edge off for us. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit? Let me doll you to take over. You? No offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie. And the patrol with me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's long for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious of me. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down. You know it. Are you trying to blame me, Ben? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell a snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case, and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, and it's made by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, there. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the batter. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing. Anymore. Okay. Back to the office. And we're out of time. Okay. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. <laughs> Keep it rolling! What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't you just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. And unfortunately... By the time this is over, we're going to need a lot of people in this position. We're out of time, I'm afraid. So I'm assuming there's a save. Yep, there's a save point. Yeah. So this is quite interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. So bear with me while we do the intro. I mean, uh, outro. outro. So I've been Gun Games. I'm Rewin. See you next time. Bye.